We use words like glorify or magnify. It's helpful to take the word magnify and, and distinguish between magnifying with the telescope and magnifying with the microscope. To magnify, you can magnify with the microscope, so you can take a human cell, which is invisible to the human eye, very, very tiny thing, and you can make a tiny thing bigger than it is. So trying to magnify God like that is blasphemy. He's so tiny, he needs all of our help to look bigger than he is. That's blasphemy. So you don't magnify God like a microscope. And telescopes magnify stars because you look at, up at night, they look like pinpricks. Are they pinpricks? They're bigger than the solar system, which is the way God looks to this world. Pinpricks, little teeny erasers in the night sky make God look like he is, namely bigger than anyone can imagine, more glorious than anyone can imagine. Experience him and then show him to be what he really is. Because experiencing God is an invisible act of the mind knowing and the heart feeling. And God doesn't intend to be glorified invisibly. He wouldn't have created the universe. And showing God is a visible act of the body doing. And both parts of experiencing invisibly and showing visibly are necessary without either they're incomplete. If we try to show God when there's no experience of God, there's a name for that. Hypocrisy. Woe to you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup. Make God look really, really nice in worship. Nice music. Nice preaching. Nice everything. And inside you're full of greed. If, if we think we are experiencing God where there's no impulse to show God, we've got another name for that. Dead. Faith, if it does not have works, is dead. A good tree bears good fruit. So the inward experience that glorifies God is knowing God truly and feeling God duly. We cannot glorify God as we ought without knowledge that accords with God's truth and feelings that accord with God's value, greatness, beauty. If you think you can glorify God by feeling nothing as you look at His beauty, look at His value, look at His greatness, you just don't get the meaning of creation. Knowledge minus feeling about God is demonic. We have the enormous privilege by the Holy Spirit to have been awakened to the beauty and the value and the greatness that the devil hates and is therefore blind to and blinds others to.